Question number 47 is a division problem. And one of the things that you need to remember how to begin a division problem is basically to turn it into a multiplication problem. So let's look at the problem itself. Come on with me to the paper. And when we look at the problem, the first thing we're going to do with this is turn it into a multiplication problem. So, when you're dividing, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the first fraction alone, and you are going to multiply this by the reciprocal of the second fraction, which means the 3x minus 15 is now on the top in the numerator, and the 7x is in the denominator. So, what you need to remember is that's how we begin a division problem. We multiply by the reciprocal of what we were dividing by. Now, a multiplication problem is best worked by factoring first and seeing what we can get to cancel. So if I take this first numerator, which is x squared plus 3x, I factor out an x, and in parens I have x plus 3. When I look at this denominator, which is a trinomial, I factor it as x minus 5 times x plus 3. This is times. 3x minus 15 factors by pulling out a GCF of 3. And 7x is basically 7 times x. It's already factored. So at this point, what we can look at is we look to see what cancellations are going to occur. x plus 3 from this numerator, x plus 3 from this denominator cancel out. We similarly cancel the x minus 5's. And what's really kind of neat, and some students miss this, so you want to make sure that you don't, this 7 times x is not an all or nothing. In other words, this is separable. This is not like the x minus 5 was. x minus 5 was an all or nothing. You couldn't just take part of it. But here, because it's simply 7 times x, we can take any part of it we want to. Therefore, this x and this x have the right to cancel. So notice what you're left with after all of this cancels out. You have a 3 in the numerator. You have a 7 in the denominator. So our final answer to that problem is 3 sevenths.